We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The fourth word from the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This is the rawest moment and the darkest. The affectionate term, Abba, that Jesus uses for his Father has now gone, and the cry, my God, my God, is now a cry of dereliction. It's one of the verses in the Bible that would surely have been redacted had the writers wanted to portray a more serene or transcendent God. But the horror of it remains unadorned. The affirmations that Jesus received at his baptism and a transfiguration, this is my son, seem very far away. The search for ways to understand this word differently show how uncomfortable we are with Jesus' sense of abandonment Yet we must simply watch and pray and not seek to anaesthetize the reality. We may indeed reflect that in Jesus' birth we see the divine thrust into the world to be with us and to redeem us. In the cross we see just how far that thrust will go. Not just into our human condition but into all its extremes our exclusion, our torture, our death, our abandonment, and even forsakenness. We may see on Good Friday the full extent of his love as his arms are extended on the cross, revealing a wide open space within God for all humanity to be loved, saved, and redeemed. These are profound truths that we can reflect on. But still, this word cannot be made more palatable My God, my God, why have you forsaken me?